welcome back everyone we're back playing conrad stevenson's paranormal pi and uh i'm pretty excited uh about this episode we're gonna go ahead and jump into a new house um i kind of didn't want to go into the church just yet just because i think that it's a, it's an absolutely massive map um and i and i'm still debating whether or not i want to leave that for like some sort of like finale or something to the series or at least maybe for a couple more episodes where we just explore kind of little smaller locations um i'm still debating on that so we'll, we'll figure that out but uh let's go ahead and just dive right back on in where we left off okay back at the office go ahead and take a look at uh what we have going on here we had previously read the uh the email from dolores slocum um where it seemed like something was trying to possess her daughter um shadow people all over the house like pretty crazy stuff so um i'm going to go ahead and just try to pick some of the things out but i, I before i do that i do want to go to the archives and see what we have for jefferson street uh which looks like it's not a lot um or really anything that we can use as evidence so um we can see the different uh, changing of, of, of hands uh of property um looks like it goes back well uh, as far as these records go it goes back to uh 1948 um where it was purchased uh and uh all the way up to looks like 2018 so that's cool um let's go ahead and go to the email and just to kind of pick stuff out. I just want to see. Yeah, I mean, even Conrad is like possession equals demon. So that seems pretty likely. Um, shadows in peripheral vision seems like a pretty good one to uh, start off with. Disembodied voices. Possessed often speak in tongues. Uh, shadows in bedrooms. Voice heard in most rooms. Is that all of them? Are there five, actually five or six pieces of uh, intel here? I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. It seems kind of difficult sometimes to get it to latch on to the, the important sections. Oh, no, we definitely had that one. Tongues, we already got that one. Woman's voice in every room. Yeah, okay. Maybe this is like a one-stop investigation. Um, we'll, we'll take a look. But anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, and go into the uh, the property. Um, last time we had just uh, also got the parabolic mic. This guy right here, uh, we used it for the um, the poltergeist investigation in the garage, which was I mean, it seems like a pretty cool piece of tech. I haven't I don't know whether or not it's how effective it is, because it, I was literally just picking up like loud bangs and noises, which I'm pretty certain I could have heard um, without the parabolic mic. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what it what it does on this investigation. Um, but it looks like. Jefferson Street is right here. So let's jump in. Take it away, Conrad. I feel terrible about Dolores' situation. Possession is such a controversial topic, and quality help is often difficult to find. I guess the best thing I can do to help is determine if anything paranormal is going on in their home. If it is, then I should obtain as much evidence as possible. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Maybe. All right. Let's grab some of our equipment here. I'm going to go with... Uh, I, 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 I still feel like the laser pen is is whatever. Um, so these are good. I'm going to grab that. And uh, that's everything that I need. Oh, there's a garage. Is there something out in the garage? They, they didn't mention a garage, did they? Is it even close? 
now with the light turns on. Okay. We'll go through the front door since we're uh, a, a civilized uh, a, a member of society. Is that a piece of evidence already? Oh, wow. Uh, I feel like I want to read this later. Got a crucifix. I hear another one, actually. Close this. Where is it? Is it, is it? it must be basement, right? Ooh. Aim at five? Where are you going? Over here? I hear another. I mean, as it feels like this is another. Uh, is all the evidence just in here? Where is it? Oh, this? Oh, wow. I feel like we're just getting everything all at once. Is this is this a different a different take on a Oh, that's new. You can actually interact with the cross. Oh, this house is laid out super weird. Okay, so there's the outside. Uh, I would like to Got this door now, please. There we go. Okay. There's definitely something here. Am I missing something? Is it upstairs? Oh, it's down here. The frog spirit. Man, I want to read all of these. Should I, I don't know if I should just leave. What? That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Oh, that's an outline of a demon. Is this just the breaker box? Yeah, I think this is just going to tell us this is normal. While this is a high EMF level, it seems to be normal. Although they may want to call an electrician to ensure everything is wired correctly. This also picking up the okay, just weird wiring, I guess. That's the fridge. This is the stove. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. It's going this way. right here where'd it go oh did it teleport away energy seems to have dissipated yeah this house seems to be designed a little differently than the other ones that we're used to the emf meter should not behave this way this is paranormal Oh 
Oh my god. Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Uh Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. I don't like this at all. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. I really don't like this. <laughs> this is really creepy. The remote. Temperature spike. I'll keep that as audio evidence. This thing is very vocal. Stairs. It's definitely colder down here, but that seemed to be expected with the basement, I guess. Is it laughing? I'll keep that as audio evidence. I just realized that when you put on the uh, when you put on the uh, parabolic mic, it, or it puts on headphones. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. And it kind of that's extraordinary audio evidence. This is insane. Yeah, so it mutes all the audio except for what you would hear through the. Par that's pretty cool. I like that. It's a neat piece of evidence. Or a, a, a tool. I think this is just normal uh, air conditioner temp. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. Here we go. Is it gone? Seems to be getting temperature readings up here, but not really anywhere else. Pretty cold. 
Hmm. These temp readings are unusual. I'll keep, keep that as audio evidence. Footsteps didn't seem to count as audio evidence for a particular ghost, though. I'm wondering if it's just the demon here, and that's all this is. That was a different that? voice, though. I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. So maybe the shadow figures are ghosts, different ghosts? What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. we go. Oh, come on. Where'd you go? It seems to just disappear in this room. I'm gonna hang out in this room for a while. Maybe we can get the, uh, the temps before the ghost just, uh, you know, vanishes. That's some cool animal pictures. Wow, that's great audio evidence. Trying to get the other voice, but every time the other voice goes off, the demon does as well. Which is interesting, I guess. Is that intentional? Is it the demon impersonating their spirits? Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. I almost want to just go back to the office and take a look at the research that we got.
I also want to try to get a photo of a ghost if I can. Maybe one of the shadow figures that shows up. <laughs> I panic. Oh my god. That's extraordinary audio evidence. I think I've already gotten that one. Maybe I need to get the actual voice recorder. Yeah, I guess I can I can drop this. There we go. Let's go ahead and uh grab our voice recorder. There we go. We could try to do EVPs, I suppose. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Wow, that sounded like a response. That yeah. is very interesting. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? That's extraordinary audio evidence. Wish I was getting more of the non-demonic voices. Wow, that's great audio evidence.
That's extraordinary audio evidence. All right. I think that we need to probably go back to the office and uh, take a look at the archive uh, for research that we have. We didn't get any photos. Nothing was really showing up. I think that we need to try and uh, get more evidence to help with that. All right. Let's uh, let's take a look. What do we have in our archive here? We, we picked up a lot of things. It's probably the most I've ever seen, especially on the first uh, go, you know, like right as soon as we enter a property. Usually it takes like at least till the next investigation for it to show up. So uh, let's take a look here. The frog spirit. Let me move this off here. It is said that the frog is connected to our world and the spirit realm by all phases of living and death. It is with this knowledge that we as sisters must come together on this night and commune beyond the veil to renew our energies. Please join me and your sisters this weekend as we explore the magic of the frog spirit. We'll be attempting to first our sorry, we'll be attempting our first spirit summoning. Where? Jefferson Street, my house. What to bring? Salt, lavender candles, chalk, and matches. So they've been doing some kind of rituals. They've clearly opened up. Opened up a doorway to something. It was, I mean, they said it was a sister. I, I don't want to assume that these names aren't women, but Lacey seems uh, like a, a suspect. Prior owners. Uh, let's see here. Somebody has anger issues. Okay. And then we got this, which... Uh, notice of action for in-home supportive services termination for Dolores Slocum. This notice relates only to your in-home supportive services, IHSS. It does not affect your receipt of Social Security. November 18th, 2021, Cecilia Slocum, case number 1349. Social worker's name, phone number, and address. Miss Slocum, your eligibility for in-home, I will just say IHSS, will cease as of January 1st, 2022. Reason, during the last follow-up, Renee tried to restrain Cecilia during a violent outburst. Cecilia overpowered Renee, knocking her to the ground, where she bumped her head on the floor. Renee suffered a concussion and filed a form for dismissal from this case. In review of the incident and many past events, we decided to withhold assigning another social worker to monitor Cecilia at home. Please understand our position here as our caseworker's safety is important. Okay. Celia's outburst may be demonic. So, okay. So that's what we have so far in terms of um, evidence or uh, archive items. So, where? how do we focus this up? Dark Arts obviously seems demonic. Outburst may be demonic. Uh, somebody has anger issues might go either way. Um as far as the shadows go. But it seems like most of these are kind of focusing on the demonic. So let's click on the demonic ones here. Um, possessed. Shadows and peripherals, I'm not too sure about that one. Talking in tongues. Women's voice is, it seems like it would probably be, um, what you call it. Uh, maybe this related to the shadows. Mm. This embodied voice also would probably be shadows. So I think that maybe this is all the stuff that relates to the demon so far. I'm not I'm not positive about anger issues. Um, but yeah, let's uh we could go with this. And just see. And maybe I'll just maybe I'll just uh, fill it out with the shadows, 
in peripheral. Just in case. Alright, let's head back. And we'll see if we can't focus on getting uh, evidence of this demon. I mean, that's all we have so far, really, right? So... I feel terrible about Dolores' situation. Possession is such a... Right, yeah, we don't need to listen to that again. Um, let's grab our stuff. I'm going to go with the uh, the EMF this time. Or not EMF. Uh, the, the voice recorder. Because... That seems to be, uh, like, we got, I think we got a lot of the, what we'll get from the parabolic. So maybe getting some actual EVPs will be good. Hearing it again. But downstairs. Definitely something else here. Wait, is it upstairs? Is it right? Is it on the ground over here? It's got to be upstairs then, right? Here? There we go. Dang it, we lost the cold spot. Outside? Where is that? What can I go? In? Oh, I can't go in their yard. Okay. Anything out here? Oh. There is a ghost out here. Hmm. Okay. So we know that there is a ghost walking out here. Maybe it went in through the back door. It's got to be downstairs then, right? That's very confusing. Oh, this one down here? I thought I thought I saw something. There we go. Okay. This is uh, the AC vent again underneath the 
the sink. Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing paranormal. go got a cold spot in the bedroom again hmm these temp readings are unusual it doesn't seem to move it just seems to appear here and then disappear again something is going on here these temperature readings are definitely paranormal but the emf was definitely moving around the house No! Dang it. So slow. What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Wait, did that count as the demon? Or was there an imperceptible demon talking? Conrad, are you in fact a ghost? So much EMF in this place. Oh, 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 no. Dang it. How rare to take a photo of a ghost. Oh, thank goodness that was so liberal. <laughs> I literally panicked and uh, took a photo of nothing and it still gave it to me. So thank you, game, for that. So the, the shadowy figure seems to be outside. It's definitely a different ghost. Oh, hey. Looks like this is a normal EMF reading. Oh, there's an electrical box right here. <laughs> It'll teach me to not look down. This is the, the electrical box giving off the field. Okay.
It's hmm. enough out of you, okay. I mean, it's weird that I'm not getting any EMF besides like the standard, you know, normal sources, light switches, TVs, electronics, things like that. This place is obviously extremely haunted with some, a not so friendly entity, I would imagine. And it does seem like the demon is kind of like the demonic presence is kind of overpowering the the uh, other presence, which seems to be a shadowy woman. light in here and turned it off again I mean you're obviously here how come I'm not it's too much electronic everywhere it's throwing off the reader Did you go out here I'll turn on the light again there we go where are you going this way Back to your, your room? No? In here? No? Alright, looks like the energy dissipated. Can't get any reading in that area, even though the ghost is clearly there. electric outlet seems a little iffy. It's 
very clear window. You can definitely see the neighbor's porch. Did you go this way? Did you go downstairs? There we are. Are you leaving? Is that I'm glad I captured it with a recorder yeah it seems like the demon is definitely like torturing this woman's spirit every like almost every time that she talks it also starts to like laugh or like say some weird uh, stuff in tongues wow that's great audio evidence So she does. She seems to like wander all the way from this bedroom. I mean, I guess I don't know what's her and what's the demon, right? Come on. Where'd you go? You're here? Are acting funny. I should continue investigating. Some some entity is taking a tour of this place and then it seems like if it is the woman, then she winds up outside. But she also goes downstairs, or maybe that's the demon. didn't count. I'm too slow on this switching of items. It's almost like I need to focus on one first. We already have the laugh, so we're just getting that. Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Is this your home? Uh -oh. 
Is this your home? Why are you here? Why are you here? Nothing on the EVP. Here we go. No, come on. BMF meters yes. should not behave this way. This is paranormal. They stay with me? That's extraordinary audio evidence. Okay. So we doubt we have more archive stuff. So I think we can kind of further focus our investigation. I want to go back to the the office and take a look. At least we know that there's more than one ghost there. It's the demon and uh, at least one other one. Okay. So let's take a look here at the archive. Detention notice. Where does it say that? Cecilia was attempting what she called witchcraft to revive the frog we were dissecting today. She shouted profanities at me and her classmates while throwing the tray with the materials on the floor. She also threatened her lab partner. Okay. This seems... If we... Okay, so what is this? Depression or possession? Rhonda Defoe, a 28-year-old woman, was charged with shooting and killing her family during a brisk spring evening in 1992. Police responded to a call from a residence in Old Town, a few miles west of the historical district, around 11.30 p.m. When they arrived, Rhonda was found on the sidewalk in front of her home with a lever-action rifle by her side and blood on her pajamas. On approach, she appeared to be unconscious and emergency services were called. Rhonda regained consciousness while receiving first aid. She began lashing out in a roar of curses and screams. She had to be sedated on site to ensure everyone's safety. When, officer, when officers arrived at the front door, one officer reported that he could feel the house rumble, but quickly chalked it up to a nearby train line nearby. Oddly enough, the train had been down for maintenance that night. Also, the doors into the home would not budge even though they were assumed to be unlocked. The officers eventually broke the front door down and searched the interior of the home. They were not prepared for what they found inside. All of Rhonda's family was murdered with the lever action rifle, which uh, was by Rhonda's side when the officers arrived. The victims were all found lying motionless, face down, in their beds, barely disheveled. The Defoe family was considered courteous and caring for the most part. Mr. Defoe was a banker for New Eidolon and a very trustworthy handyman, and Mrs. Defoe was a homemaker. Tanner, the youngest child, was in high school. Their daughter, Rhonda, had an introverted personality, but still had a circle of friends. Uh, allegedly after settling into their home, Rhonda became ill, not a true sickness per se, but a mental break, as her father put it to one of their neighbors. A couple of neighbors gossiped about Rhonda dabbling in witchcraft and satanic rituals with her friends. Seems to be a theme here. Yeah. Uh, which was the catalyst of her illness. Kathy, Rhonda's mother begged to differ and denied any mental break and rationalized the illness as her daughter trying to figure things out. Nobody could ever define what happened to Rhonda and why the state of mind changed for the worse. 
uh, there was no motive for the crime. She never came out of her shell except around her friends and did not show any sign of regress aggressive behavior or malcontent to anyone or anything. Just a nice, plain girl. For weeks, there was much speculation surrounding the murders and uh, a solid answer never surfaced. Rhonda was charged on three counts of second degree murder, but she never reached trial. She was found strangled in her cell in an apparent suicide. That's really sad. Um, okay. Kathy died suddenly. Who's? I'm guessing that was the mom. I'm thinking that that one isn't going to be the one that's, it seems kind of weird. Um, okay, so we have Cecilia's dabbling with black arts. Prior owners use dark arts. Cecilia outbursts may be demonic. Um, I don't know about the anger issues thing. That might be the, the other ghost. Uh, archives. Let's, or let's go to the uh, email. Possession equals demon. Uh, speaking in tongues. All right, so. Yeah, I mean, I think that those are probably. It's weird that clicking on this says Kathy died suddenly. When, I mean, that's the mom, obviously. That's right there, Kathy, Rhonda's mother. So, maybe somebody has had anger issues? I mean, it might be that there is no. I mean, maybe it's this one, too. I guess we don't know. Huh. I don't I didn't see anything else in here. Um that was directly relating to the the demonic possession. Um So I'm wondering if this is enough or if I need to find something else um to to help bring out the the demonic presence more um i guess we could just try and see yeah let's just give it a shot and uh we'll go with that i mean i guess i i'll i'll just go ahead and throw the anger issues thing in there just to see and we'll give it a shot We'll jump in. We're so close to getting the, the full uh, demon investigation. I feel. Yeah, we'll go get our stuff. Uh, that one, that one. That one, and that one. Okay. Let's do this. Shut this off. Why can I not? There we go. Always fix the cross for maximum protection from Jesus. Oh, it won't even let me. Come on. Got it. EMF is just ridiculous in this place. Oh my god, what? No, 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 no. Oh my god. Wow. I'm not sure oh, what's no. more impressive. 
I took the photo or I'm going to survive this. I if that if this was a game where things kill you, I would have been dead. I literally got caught on this corner. <laughs> I'm so scared. That looked really cool. I mean, I don't know what the last bit of voice evidence is for this thing. Oh, that's creepy. Its eyes are just floating there. Wow, that's great audio evidence. That was so creepy. Its eyes are just sitting there glowing like two embers. What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? I feel like the, uh, if it's a demon, it's not going to give me its name. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Wow, that sounded like a response. That is very interesting. Yeah, I'd say so. This thing is insane. Well, we've fully investigated the demon, so there's that. This thing is nutty. Like, the fact that when I, the first time I walk into the basement, it's just on fire charging at me. That's nutty. Okay. Oh, it's going to be normal temps. Also normal temps. Even more normal temps. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. So it seems like Kathy is going to be the one, the name of the, the shadowy ghost. Wondering if there's going to be evidence out here. Okay, well, I feel satisfied with the de the demon investigation. I mean, we got it. We got to see the thing twice, sort of. So, that's good by me. Um, I do want to... I mean, we are missing a piece of evidence, I think, for one or the other. Yeah, we didn't get EMF or temp. But hey, we got audio. And we got a photo. Nice. All right. Okay. So, I think that that's probably good for this video. I mean, it's it's about time anyway. Maybe like a little bit over. And uh, I feel like we we fully investigated uh, the demonic possession of Jefferson Street, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, and uh, thank you for staying tuned. It, as always, I, I truly appreciate all the support that everybody's been given uh, for these videos. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. It will let you know anytime I release uh, you know, any videos in this series or any of the other series that I, I currently uh, am releasing content for. I know that it, it's probably a lot right now. I just have a, I, a lot of games that I wind up playing. Um, and so I hope that it, it kind of appeals to everyone. But um, 
yeah thanks again everybody i will catch you guys in the next video see you later